Right, we have had our grill colour coded. So what we're doing today, we are going to fit our new colour coded grill onto the front of our Defender, put it back together again. Um, we've obviously done the Raptor on the front. We've got to make some little parking sensor. Julian's on that today, some little stickers, because obviously I've still got the silver parking sensor. I'm trying to banish the silver. Now, here's an interesting thing. So we're going to put the grill together. We're going to show you the different options you can get for this grill bar. We're going to explain about the badge and we're going to explain about the radar. So let's start on the radar. So this car, when I took this apart, I thought, oh, it's a temperature sensor or something. I missed the fact that it sort of said radar on there somewhere. Can we read it, say radar? No. No, there we go. Anyway, that's a radar. Now, this has puzzled me somewhat, because wh why would you want a radar on the front of your car? Now, some cars come with adaptive cruise control, and that's operated by radar. And what that does is, as you're driving along on the cruise control, if there's a car in front of you that slows down, it slows you down and keeps you going along at a set distance. And as he speeds up, you speed up, and it's brilliant. Um, so I thought, oh, but my car hasn't got it because it's only the S model. Um, but then I was having a look on the parts catalogue. So, and the vehicles that have the radar cruise control have the same radar part number as mine. So I'm thinking, well, what does the radar do? And I, I'm still not sure. Um, it could be to do with the emergency brake assist. And that's supposed to, as you're driving along, if you don't see something, and it's supposed to go uh, and stop you. It's got this emergency brake assist and it's, it plays a beeping noise first. Um, so I thought maybe it's that. So, but then I, I've disconnected it. I drove it down to the main dealer the other day to collect some parts and I drove it exactly as you see it here and the radar. But it didn't come up with any warning messages or any lights. So I don't know what the radar does. Have they put it on my car by mistake? But the real thing is, when you look at the, there's two parts you need for the cruise control, the adaptive cruise control. One is the radar, and the other is on the steering wheel switch pack. The right-hand switch pack has got a cruise control, adaptive cruise control. But when I look at the parts catalog, they're all the same part number. So I think there might be a software setting in the car configuration files, where if I toggle it, I can get the adaptive cruise control working. Right, back to the grill. Right, so my car came with this silver strip, and this strip is removed. It's got five mounting holes here, and you can just unscrew it from the back and screw a new one in. Now, Land Rover, on their parts catalogue, you can get three colour options. You can get silver, you can get this one, which is sort of... It's weird, isn't it, George? It's like a chrome... It's got a sort of brown tinge to it, almost. But this was fitted on the Model X, so... And it's the same price as the silver one, um, so I thought we'll have one of those. And the third colour option is Primer. Now, you can get a black pack for the Defender, and the black pack comes with a black one of these, but I can't find on the part number system the part number for a painted black one direct from Land Rover, so they've hidden that from me. So we are going to go with this one. Now, the other interesting thing is the bag. You will note, those of you that are eagle-eyed, that the radar is sitting here. There's a couple of interesting things. that was, And they do two badges. They do one for cars with radar and one for cars without. But I'm still a bit confused because my base S model has got a radar. But um, So they must do a badge that's radar transparent. If you've got a radar, this badge has obviously got to be able to... The radars have got to be able to see through this. But you, you can't see through it to the light. It's... Um, so we'll have a look at that. I've ordered the two badges. I haven't got them here, but we'll have a look if there is a distinguishable difference. So we've got to work out how to unpop that badge. But it's on some sort of fierce clips. But George reckons if I just push it hard enough, it'll come out. What do you reckon, George? Yeah, just... But it looks like it's got a fierce little sort of thing. But let's have a look. It's no good to me, is it? Oh, look at that, George. You were right. I was right. You were right. Right. So there you go, so that's the badge, and again, you can get, I don't know which flavor this is, um, whether this is the radar visible. Right, the other interesting thing about the radar is this, this here is not a paint effect, it's actually chrome plated. Um, you can feel it's cold, it's metallic, so it has a metallic finish to it. Um, so this chrome plated thing will block radar. So, uh, but obviously they fitted it. So the radar must be just right in this middle area here. It's not, so I don't think you're worried if you put stuff, 
but be careful you don't put anything just in this area because you might restrict the radar. Right, one other interesting thing for you, those of you that are into manufacturing, these two look the same. You would think Land Rover would make them from the same tool, but these are injection molded, but you can clearly see they're off different tools. This one's got a Land Rover mark here, none here. If you scroll along here, this one's made in Spain. Can you see that? Can we focus on that? Just. Yeah, they, they... there you go. And this one somewhere, it says made in Poland. Um, so Land Rover, a bit extravagant. For the same part, they've tooled it up twice, which puzzles me. But, right, so there we go. So we are going to put that on here. Right, so we're going to put that in there. Oh, put the badge on first. And it'll certainly be hard for the Beastie Boys. There's a, there's a 1980s reference for some people. To steal your badge. They've made it super unstealable. Look, there's no way you can get a screwdriver in behind because it's so flush mounted. But there we go. But I don't think there's any black and silver badges. The only, there's just two, and we'll have a look at them. But they're just radar visible and radar invisible. Right, I'll put a nice soft mat down here. Right. So these are, the, these are the top of screws we took out. Let's get those reassembled. And then we can get this back on the car. Right, you guys don't want to watch me screw this, so let me get this on, and then we'll go and have a look at it on the car. Right, that's all reassembled. George has done that. Um, all good. So, yeah, so we're now we're back on pushing in these plastic clips. Yeah, one thing I didn't mention, I'm not sure whether I mentioned it, was that radar's a thousand pounds. So, I'm a bit puzzled as to why a thousand pound thing is not giving any error codes. But today we are going back into Land Rover. They're going to look at some of the weird things it's doing for me. So that's why we're putting it back together today. So, should we plug the radar in or not? I suppose we ought. Yeah. yeah. That'll get all upset otherwise. That'll get all emotional on me. Right. Right, and then that. That clip must clip in somewhere. We'll work. Well, it looks like it goes in the top there. I can't remember. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, that goes there. Look. It's yeah, that, that looks good. Right. And where are we? That looks. That looks like we've got that lined up. I think we're just gonna have to give it a. Oh, it's a bit. It's looking good though. It is looking really good. Mm -hmm. It's a bit, slap it and see, but right then, there you go. Right, let's get the top fixings together. Right, we've got the top panel on, we've got the four front fixings, there are Torx T30. Let's put these little plastic clips in the back. Gosh, that was a while since we had that off. Yeah. Four Defender's been apart for weeks. But we've been having fun, right then. Got to do the letter in next. But there we go, that's our Defender. That's our idea of a bit of just making it suit our style, the way we like it. The badges have just arrived. I've just dropped my Land Rover down at the Land Rover dealer and picked up the badges. So this badge here I've written on the back is with ACC. And, but I wondered if it wouldn't, it's still got a sort of metallic brushed finish. You can see there. Um, and then this one here has got the same. It looks the same from the front as far as I can see. But on the back, this is the one without the ACC, the Adaptive Cruise Control. It's just got this extra little bracket. Now I can't see what the one I did earlier had on it, but you see that little bracket there, 
So they look the same from the front. The reflection might be different just because the angle they sit. Um, but on the rear, um, it's that's the one there, and that's the other one. Um, but I think I had the with ACC type um, because I've got the radar, but I haven't got ACC. But the story continues. Anyway, a little sneak teaser for you. Of course, just turned up Defender X rear light. Someone's been asking for this, so I'll try and do a video upgrading. I've only got one side. I'll wait till I get the other side and we'll look at that. Anyway, that's for another video. Right, good luck with your front grille upgrade.